and how we burned in the camps later, thinking, what would things have been like if every security operative, when he went out at night to make an arrest, had been uncertain whether he would return alive and have to say goodbye to his family? Or if during periods of mass arrests, as for example in Leningrad, when they arrested a quarter of an entire city, people had not simply sat in their lairs, paling with terror at every bang on the downstairs doors and at every step on the staircase, but had understood they had nothing left to lose and had boldly set up in the downstairs hall an ambush of half a dozen people with axes, hammers, pokers, or whatever else was at hand. The organs would very quickly have suffered a shortage of officers and transport, and notwithstanding all of Stalin's thirst, the cursed machine would have ground to a halt. If, if, we didn't love our freedom enough. And even more, we had no awareness of the real situation. We purely and simply deserved everything that happened afterward.